Today we're going to show you how to make an oven out of stone and I'm going to be using this giant quarry of sandstone as my material and some natural clay deposits for mortar. With those two parts and pieces as well as a little bit of help from my beautiful assistant we'll go ahead and get started.
All right, so here's our completed rock oven. I went ahead and lined it with clay. It took quite a bit, but I have as much as I need out here, so I went ahead and sealed everything up. Now, the idea behind this oven is that the fire's gonna be down here, and I can go ahead and feed it all I need and regulate it accordingly. Now, the air should draft in here after a while once it gets going, and in the very back, I've got a gap. This shelf does not go all the way back. So the concept is that air flows in, and the heat and smoke will flow up through, back through, and over this lip. And this effectively makes this kind of an oven in here, so it's gonna definitely increase the temperature. We can also, after a while, add some drying racks or some smoking racks above here, because by the time the smoke and heat has traveled that far, it should be smoking the meats that we have above here instead of actually cooking them. So we're gonna go ahead in uh, about an hour or so, because we've caught some fish today, I'm going to go and put a catfish in here, fired up, and we'll see how this thing works. Alright, firing it up. You can see it's already starting to draft real well. So smoke's coming out, oxygen's going in. It's working great. The oven's coming along real well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put our fish on a little tray I've made. We'll slide it in there and this tray is going to allow it to be heated evenly on both sides so the uh, the hot air can come up underneath the fish and over the top of it evenly now you could further modify this oven to put more rocks in the front but uh, I like the open concept because I can move things around in and out gives me a little bit of versatility you could also go ahead and fashion some of the stone to slide into place where you could remove them as need be but we're gonna let the fire die down, we'll let the coals kind of build up, and we're gonna let that gradual heat cook our fish. Pretty cool. Our fish should be ready. There you go. Catfish cooked in a rock oven. It should be smoked pretty well. This is uh, mesquite wood. You gonna try? Okay. And that is good. Guys, that's how it works. We're undoubtedly gonna be using this a couple more times to show you a few more things it can do. But that is your rock oven. Like and subscribe, and as always, Till next time.